When I was in eighth grade, I have to also say I was a sped kid. I was a sped kid. I don't know what that means. A special, special ed. Kid. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so I wasn't in the regular classes with all the other okay. kids except for when it was like gym class. Okay. So uh, we, me and another sped kid who, you know, wasn't with all the regular kids were like, we had like a tennis we had like tennis with the other kids and the the kid was calling the the other sped kid uh a, an r word he was calling him a retard, retard. Okay. yeah and then and then i said what did you say and he said to me you heard me stupid <laughs> um so this was tennis uh and i said i'm just giving you a chance to take back what you just said. And he was like, yeah, no, no, you, you had heard me. You had heard me. So I, I just went over and I just, I was grabbing him and I was holding him up by his neck and he had yeah. a tennis racket in his hand and he did nothing. He yeah. did nothing at all. He felt I, that retard strength. Yeah, it was, it was all my retard strength. I, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> uh, so at, after like, after eighth grade, um, nobody, nobody called me stupid or retard anymore. I mean, there you go. That, that before <laughs> all that, before all that, I was bullied a ton, but, yeah. but it went away. So it all came out then in this, like from all that, it all came out in this moment. Yeah. So, so you just, you held him up like by his shoulders but, or his neck and then. No, I, how do I, by his neck. That's awesome. And then he just like tapped out. He's like, I'm sorry. No, he, he was crying. And then the teacher came over and yelling at me. And then the principal, we went to the principal's office and the principal was like, dude, you can stop crying now. You can stop crying now. Why did this happen? And then, like, I think at the time I was on probation already. Um, so he was like, I'm not going to call your PO. I'm not going to do anything. Just go home. And I was suspended for like two days. But that was it. This is the the no end of the bullying. bullying. That's good. All right, Dalton, you're back just in time. It's your turn. Okay. <laughs> um, I think I've only ever actually been in one fight. I was 18, uh, and I just got into college, and I was a very frustrated, angry, fat, sexless boy. <laughs> <laughs> Does and every story I, start like this? <laughs> pretty much, yeah. Up until I think last year, every, apparently. Every story, every story up until June of 2020 starts like this. I was an angry virgin. <laughs> uh, but no, I, I was trying to pledge this uh, fraternity at my college. I went, I went to the University of North Texas in Denton, Texas, and I was trying to pledge uh, Sigma Phi Epsilon with my friend uh, Dexter was his name. And uh, we were there one night, and we and I had met this girl there named Ashley, who I hit it off with, kind of. And he he also was talking to her, and then uh, I, I don't remember exactly. It, something happened where he ended up having he ended up being the one to hook up with her. And then one night we were both back in our hometown at uh, a high school friend's party and we were drinking all of us and i had drank pro like four forties of mickey's oh. if anyone's familiar with mickey's it's a a fine malt liquor and uh you know i drank four forties of this how do you ever and just leave the bathroom with that much beer in your body Oh, I was pissing all night. I mean, <laughs> I was I was pissing up a storm that night. And, but I I mean, I was three sheets to the wind. I was fucked up. Uh, and not the first or last time I was too drunk. And I was just like, I'd gotten into my own head and was feeling like really angry about this dude fucking this girl that I didn't know. <laughs> and so, and so I went up to Dexter and I said, Dexter. We are going to fight each other tonight. And he said, I don't know if we should do that. And I go, no, fuck you, you toothless bitch. He had lost a tooth uh, a couple of years ago in a, in a fight. <laughs> and so I was trying to, like, say anything that might get under his skin to get him to want to fight me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but he had only had, like, a beer or two. And he goes, I, I don't know if we should fight. And I'm like, we're fighting. Get ready. <laughs> and then everybody else that was also drunk 
and so they started taking bets <laughs> for this fight that was coming up between me and Dexter. And uh, eventually, Dex- Dexter finally got some more drinks in him. He goes, all right, well, let's go fight. Does he know and why? So, does he, did he know why we were fighting? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he was well aware that I, w- I was being a gay bitch. <laughs> He's just, like, <laughs> mad that he fucked a girl I liked. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no, this is an embarrassing story. It's me being a child is what this story is. And uh, so everybody took bets. They're cir- everybody's in the backyard circled up around us like fight club. <laughs> and um, we square up against each other. And I try to get into a fighting stance, but I'm like... I'm so drunk that I try to put my fist in front of my face, but I hold him out up here, like <laughs> over my head. <laughs> and so I move in, I move in to, to fight him and he just immediately punches me in the face. And I go, Oh uh, yeah, that's a good one. Good luck. Good luck doing that again. <laughs> and then it punches me several more times. And I was like, you've, you fought well, my friend. <laughs> I guess he had seen the karate kid. I, he no can defend. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't defend against any of these. So you didn't get you didn't bullets. get one you didn't get one shot in. I didn't get a single shot in, <laughs> and he wasn't really punching me that hard. He was mm-hmm. just like popping me because mm-hmm. he knew that because it's like everybody had seen me drink those forties, and they everybody was like Dalton is fucked up. He should go to the hospital probably. <laughs> uh, and so. I woke up the next day and my 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 whole face just hurt and everybody was making fun of me. They were like, "Hey, buddy, do you want to fight?" And they were all doing putting their hands above their heads, like making fun of me. That's so great. that's really the only like actual fight I've been in. Other than that, uh, I I you know I've had some serious drinking issues over the years and I've had to be pulled away from bouncers for sure. But I've never actually been in another fight. There there was one other time where. I went to a bar with my parents in Keller, Texas, and uh, started drinking and got too drunk and blacked out. And when I came to, uh, I was staring down four bouncers. The one in front of me was a black dude about the size of a refrigerator. Uh And my dad was holding my arms behind my back, and he said, son, we have to leave. They've called the cops. (laughs) So I don't know what happened that night. So the, those are the only altercations I've ever been in. 